Hey guys, good morning. How are you? Welcome to another vlog. I've had a really lovely, productive morning so far. I went to Pilates and then um, it's my husband's birthday today. So I picked up some flowers for him. I picked up some breakfast pastries for him. He really loves a chocolate croissant. So I picked one up for him and yeah, I'm showered. I'm all ready to go for the day. We have a fun, exciting day ahead of us. We're gonna stop by the mall because um, next, in about a week or so, my husband and I are going to Cabo. And so I needed to pick up a new bathing suit. Um, so I had one put aside for me. We're gonna go pick that up. And then we're gonna be hitting the new Resorts World Casino. There's a steakhouse there called Carver Steak. I've never heard of it. I haven't heard anything about this, but I thought, let's give it a shot. We have not been to this casino yet. It opened, um, gosh, I can't remember. Really, time has no meaning. <laughs> anymore i'm like last year the year before no it was sometime last year i think maybe even earlier this year anyway we haven't been there yet and it's like huge it's on the strip it is uh, like kind of across the street from the wind and north a bit on the strip but it's gigantic it's huge it's like an honest to goodness like one of those las vegas casinos so we're really excited we're actually meeting one of our friends who's in town one of our friends from New York. So tonight was just the perfect night. We could celebrate my husband's birthday. We could meet up with our friend. Um, so we've got a fun day ahead of us. I also got a couple packages in. I placed an order at um, Dior.com. I wanted to get my mom uh, something for Mother's Day. And I was also really tempted by the Dior Riviera collection. <laughs> Every time I see the word, I'm like, Dior Riviera collection. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, um, I ordered that collection. I ordered some stuff from my mom. I am working with Dior on this video, so big thank you to them. Um, but this is something that I ordered uh, myself. And um, I also got some stuff in from H&M. I ordered just some basics. Um, I felt like I needed a refresh. I wear a lot of, you know, white button-down shirts, and they all are you know, a little dirty, there's a little foundation around the collar, some smudge marks down the front, grease stains, things like that. So I thought, let me do a little quick refresh of some things. Um, and I actually ordered a bunch of trousers. I don't usually order a lot of pants. I usually just order tops and like dresses and stuff. But I was like, I'm like in a trouser mood. So uh, maybe we'll do a quick little fashion try on haul a little bit later. But um, like I said, I'm all showered and ready to go, but I did want to put on uh, some makeup and I thought, let's dig into this um, Dior order. So um, Dior has some amazing stuff on their site for Mother's Day specifically. And if you go onto Dior.com and you go to the beauty section, they even have like shop Mother's Day gifts. So they have things that are like prepackaged, like sets in these beautiful boxes. Everything I ever order from Dior always comes beautifully packaged. The box, the ribbon, um, you can even get a personalized card there for your mom if you want. Just really like impeccably, impeccably dressed presents. And um, they have like great like gift with purchases. So I've always been impressed with like Dior and their service, their online site and like the packaging and all of that stuff. Um, and so I thought, let me get something for my mom there. So my box is gorgeous. Isn't that so pretty? Let's see what the inside looks like. Ah, yeah, we've got the tissue paper, a little sticker. So let's see. I guess I can see what I ordered. So, oh, I did get this um, new off on foaming cleanser. I'm gonna try this tonight when I take off my makeup. Um, but this is like a mousse cleanser. So let's see, it's infused with Nymphaea from the Dior Gardens. This foam provides exclusive off on cleansing. Off eliminates impurities, urban particles, makeup residue, and excess sebum on. Soothes and protects the skin's hydration and barrier. And since I have really dry skin and sometimes I have issues with eczema, this was very appealing to me. So I'm really excited to try that cleanser. And then I got three of these limited edition lipsticks and I was gonna have my mom pick out or take whatever colors that she wanted. So we've got the Rouge Dior packaging here, but look at how beautiful, oh my God, look at how beautiful these bullets are. So this one is Nude Look, color 100. I don't think my mom is gonna go for that. 
Um, I think that will be mine. And then all of these have a velvet finish and, oh, and they're refillable as well. <laughs> that one just popped out. So they are refillable. Ooh, this is pretty. My mom may like this one. So this one is shade number 720. Oh, I just love that engraving. Oh, it's just, it's so special. So, so beautiful. And then here is like the Dior Rouge color that's so famous, 9.99. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I think my mom's gonna go for 720. So these limited edition lipsticks um, are available in these three shades. So I basically got all three shades that are available. And then, okay, here's like the Dior Riviera stuff. So I got both of the Quint eyeshadow palettes. So this one is number 779. Ooh, you guys know how much I love Dior eyeshadows. So we're definitely gonna be playing with some of these. And then this one is 479. Ooh, this one's a little, I think deeper, a little brighter. So pretty, that color in the middle is so pretty. It's like a really deep gold. And then I picked up the Luminizer. So they come in this beautiful like puffy packaging. <laughs> and this one is, let's see, uh, 001 Nude Riviera. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty, very subtle. And then the other one I got is 002. And this one has a little bit of a cooler tone, like a pinky kind of tone. Ooh, that's pretty too. Ooh, they have like a little bit of a wet look to them. All right, so we'll definitely play with those as well. And then this is just packing. That's very nice. And I think this was my gift with purchase. So, oops, look at how adorable this is. So I picked out this fragrance. I can't pronounce it, so I'm not gonna slaughter it. But look at how cute this little gift with purchase is. It's like literally like a mini version of their full size. So that is gorgeous. I love that. I love that it comes in this little pouch, so special. And then this is, what I got for my mom. Now she's not a huge perfume wearer, but I thought she would like, you know, like a little selection to choose from. I thought this gift set was just so gorgeous and special. So this is actually the front. I'm just gonna roll this over. We've got like CD printed up here. And then we've got 10 of these perfumes in here. Isn't that, so incredible. I love this so, so much. I just think it's so impressive. It's just such a beautiful gift. And for someone who's getting into fragrance, someone who loves fragrance, someone who just loves Dior, someone who just loves packaging like myself, like I would just set this up. Like if I wasn't into fragrance, although I am, I would just set this up on my vanity just so I could look at it. Isn't that so, so gorgeous. Gris Dior is one of my favorites. I love, love, love. So I think this would make a gorgeous, gorgeous Mother's Day gift or a gift to yourself. So that's what I picked up from Dior. Um, yeah, let's head back to my, uh, my filming room, which has like the best light. And we'll play around with these quints and these luminizers and that nude look lipstick. It's gonna pain me to use it because of that beautiful engraving, but Oh, it's such a, it's a beautiful shade too. And I'm gonna swatch everything for you. So anyway, let's go ahead and head on back there. So my hair was actually behaving today. And then, I don't know, it's like, my hair just wants to come out and play after a while. Anyway, hopefully it'll calm down <laughs> as the day gets going. So before we sit down and actually do my makeup, I need to actually pull out the other stuff that I need. So I only have what highlighter, lipstick, and eyeshadow, so I need Foundation. I'm gonna use my Dior Air Flash and I'm gonna pull out my Dior Backstage Concealer. You guys know how much I love this. We're gonna go full Dior today. I'm gonna to use this Dior Backstage Powder. I feel like I need to get a lighter shade, but we'll go ahead and use this today. Then we'll use this Dior Bronzer. This is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze in Light Bronze. Ooh, I have a bunch of Dior blushes, but you guys probably know which one I'm going to 
reach for this one, 459 Charnel. I love, love, love the shade. It's such a great like beigey peach. So I'm gonna whip that out. And we also have the Dior Onset Brow Gel. I think this is like my new favorite brow gel. It is really, really good. So we're gonna use that. And yeah, we'll fill in as we go with other products. But let me go ahead and start with the Dior Air Flash. So I'm using shade 1N. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it onto my Dior foundation brush. This is the number 12 brush. And apply from there. So I'm so excited to be going out to dinner tonight um, because we've been wanting to check out this new casino. As you can imagine, a new casino here is like a big deal. <laughs> it was like the talk of the town for a while there. Um, and now that, um, like I was mentioning, it does feel safer to go out, it's a really good time for us to like check it out and yeah, just kind of like enjoy dinner there without worrying too much about COVID and all that stuff. So really, really excited. And it's gonna be so nice to see a friend from New York. Yeah, he's in town for one of those huge conventions. I can't remember which one, but um, yeah, he comes every year and well, he couldn't come the past few years because of COVID and the convention didn't go on. So this is the first time he's back in a while. So uh, really exciting. He texted me and was like, I'm back. <laughs> very, very excited. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer. Then I'm gonna go into the backstage powder. I have shade 2N, which I was just saying, I think is a little bit too deep for me. But I think as long as I apply it lightly, it's not going to uh, like change up the color of my foundation or anything. So I'm just gonna press it in. This is a baked gelée powder and it's really, really great at like blurring and like smoothing the skin. It's so nice. All right, gonna throw on some bronzer and then blush. I, of course, will link everything down below in my description box if you're interested in any of these products. Oh, I love this blush. This blush was out of stock for a while. Hopefully it is back in stock. It's so pretty and it's so, so good for the summertime, right? It blends like right into bronzer. Okay, now for some of the new goodies. So I've got two of those new highlighters. So let's try Nude Riviera. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be too deep for my skin, so let's check it out. Don't you just love this limited edition imprint on here? It looks like one of their book totes. Oof, I still have to pick up one of those. I think it works. Yeah, it looks um, kind of deep in the pan, but that reflection is pretty light. Very, very nice. Oh good, I'm glad, glad that works. Yeah, buffed in, it's so smooth looking. Ooh, so pretty. And then on this side, let's just go ahead and try the other one. I don't think anyone will notice. <laughs> I have two different highlighters on. This one is 002 Pink Riviera. And that's this guy. Again, with that beautiful imprint. It really pains me to use makeup when the imprint is so much fun. So there is Pink Riviera. Yeah, it's just basically I feel like this is neutral to warm and this is like a cool toned highlighter. So depending on your preference, your skin tone, your other makeup, I think will determine which one you prefer or you use. Um, but they're both really pretty in terms of like the sheen and like the reflection. Wow, it's really, really bright. All right, so those are the Dior Riviera Couture Luminizers. Uh, let me throw on some brows. I'm gonna use the Onset Brow Gel and I have it in the shade 00, no, I'm sorry, 032. I believe it's dark brown and it's such a good shade because it's uh, like neutral cool toned brown. And I wasn't sure if this brow gel had fibers in it because usually you can kind of see them, you know, kind of like coming off of the, uh, the spoolie, but um, I was reading up on this and it has like micro fibers in there, which helps kind of plump up your brows. And I was like, ah, that's what it is because my brows like, it's not just like pigment that's like filled them in. Like they're really like filled in and it's definitely the fibers. So yeah, I've been loving this brow gel. So, so nice and so fast. I love it. Just brush it in and you're good to go. 
Okay, now we've got two quints to play with. 479, which is the deeper, brighter one. That's this guy. Let me do some swatches of these for you. And these are pressed powder shadows, so nothing too complicated. You know, they're not baked gelée. They're not too hard to pick up. Really pretty. I love that bottom peach shade. And that top shade is the center, like golden shade. Ah, did I show you guys what I did to my hand? Do you see that? It's a blood blister. I caught my hand in one of my tripods. I was like lowering it and it just like, whoop, it got caught right in there. It kills, it still feels like it's bruised. <laughs> okay, here is 779. So this one is more neutral, a little bit lighter, a little bit more subdued. I'm going to swatch this right next to the other one so you can kind of compare. So here is this one that I just held up. Sorry, the top shade is over here. So yeah, it's just a little bit less bright and punchy than the first one. So yeah, this is 779 Riviera. I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this shade. It's so pretty, it's like a, little bit of a rosy shade and I'm just gonna apply that like lightly all over my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. That is a good one and done shade. There's that shade all over the lid. I am gonna go into this shade over here in the other quad. So this is 479 and I'm just gonna add that to the inner corner here. Just brighten that up a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna go into this bronzy shade over here. I'm still in the 479 uh, quint. And just gonna add this to the outer corner. I think it's, yeah, it's deep enough or deeper than that other shade to give me a little bit of dimension here. And in both of these uh, quints, the only matte shade is the darkest shade in there. The rest of them are a satin shade and this one this like bright peach shade over here. This is the only, I believe, duochrome. It has like a gold shift to it. Ooh, very summery, very, I almost said bronzy. It's actually a little bit more like coppery because there's so much warmth to it. Um, I'm gonna try and throw this bright peachy shade in there somewhere, maybe just like in the center of my lid because it's so pretty and I feel like it'll brighten up this whole look. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of peachiness. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. It's very, very subtle. Lastly, I'm going to line my eyes with one of these um, deep matte shades. I'm going to go back to uh, 779 and use this one. All right, eyeshadow is done. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Okay, so since I don't know which one my mom is going to want, I am not gonna swatch 720, which is this one, but I did wanna show it to you in this light because it may look a little bit different, but I'm looking at the viewfinder. This is very true to color. So this is 720. I do think that's the one that she'll want. And then 999 is the Dior Red. So there is $9.99. All right, so let me swatch 100. This is nude look. It's gonna be so sad to see that CD go. And these all have a velvet finish, so they're matte, but it's like a soft matte finish. They go on like a cream lipstick. So comfortable, yeah. So, so comfortable. They don't feel dry or matte in any way. And there is nude look. Mm, I love it. There's a slight fragrance. I don't taste it. It's like a little bit floral, very light. It's already kind of gone. I only smell it. Yeah, I only smell it in the bullet now. But there it is, nude look. So we are ready. We are ready for the day. Hey guys, I made it upstairs and I wanted to show you what I got at H&M. I don't I don't know if I have time to actually try them all on for you. Maybe I'll try on a couple pieces, but I'm running out of time. We have to make our way to the strip soon. Um, but uh, let me, yeah, let me turn you around and show you. So I basically picked up three pairs of trousers. Sorry, it's really hard for a camera to focus on <laughs> white. Um, so I got this kind of like off-white creamy pair of pants. I got this beige pair of trousers, which has pleats. This white one doesn't have any pleats. 
And then this black pair does not have any pleats either. So the white and the black pair, I believe, are the same style. Um, and then this is more of like a kind of flouncier kind of style. And I got size 10 in everything because whenever I get 12 or a large at H&M, it's always proven to just be a little too big. Um, and so these are those white blouses that I was talking about that I got. So I did get size medium in these. I got two of these apparently. And then I decided to pick up this linen shirt. It is a little bit see-through, um, but could be good like under something or when I go to the beach or whatever. So I will try that on. This definitely looks big enough. I ended up getting a large in this one because at least in the pictures, it didn't look that oversized. So anyway, I picked up large. And then finally I got this blazer, which I did get a size medium, but it looks big. It also looks like it needs to be pressed. Like it's not, I just kind of steamed it. And yeah, I think it needs to be pressed. Anyway, maybe I'll try this on just to see. Um, but those are the pieces that I got. So yeah, let me see what time it is and see if I can try any of these on for you. Okay. Ignore the mess in the background. <laughs> so this is that linen shirt. I actually like it. It is dolman sleeved. Um, but yeah, I think it looks nice. I think it fits nicely. And then these are those cream trousers. I would never wear these two things together, especially since this is white and this is cream. Not a good look, um, but I did want to just try these on. So this is the size 10 and it, you know, it fits. It's maybe a little snug right here, especially in white. It probably looks a little, a little much, but, um, but it fits, so I think I'm gonna keep these. They're just a little bit long, so I definitely have to uh, get them shortened. Um, but yeah, so I know the white and then the black pants fit, so let me go ahead and try on the cream pants. Well, this is interesting. So these pants are size 10 also, but they're much tighter, even though this is kind of like a looser style, and it even has like a slight elasticity to the back here. Yeah, the back right here, there's like a little bit of elastic. Maybe that's why they made them a little bit snugger, but I really don't like tight pants. I mean, who likes tight pants? But yeah, I really do not like tight pants. So I think I'm gonna send these back. And here is that blazer. Well, I think it looks better on than it does on the rack, but it's just, do you see how like, it's just not, I don't know, there's something very strange about maybe this fabric. I don't know if you can see because it's black, but this fabric, it's um, like it wasn't finished properly. And I know I'm like going in on a very inexpensive piece of clothing here, but even if this is like pressed, I feel like it's just never gonna stay really like crisp looking. And I feel like when it comes to a blazer, there has to be a little bit of crispness to it. And this is the second kind of inexpensive blazer I've tried. I ordered some from Everlane. And that too, it was like just the material didn't really go with the style. It's almost like a little bit too thick in a way. Yeah, you need like, which is why there's actually a category of fabric called like suitings. It's like, you know, um, it's fabric that's like really, really fine because you want like a certain crispness to it. So I think I'm gonna have to um, maybe invest in a blazer instead of trying to find some, <laughs> a bunch of inexpensive ones, unfortunately. Hello, I did a quick costume change before heading out to the strip and uh, over to resorts. Um, I am wearing that dress that I've worn a couple of times, probably more on Instagram than anywhere else. But it's that cotton dress that's really kind of full. It's got pockets or whatever. It's just super comfortable. It has that tie waist um, or tie, yeah, tie around the waist. Wow, Michelle. Um, it has that tie around the waist, which kind of keeps it from looking too sackish, but it is pretty much like a very billowy, roomy kind of dress, which I think is perfect for a steak dinner. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna head over to Crystal's now and then head over to resorts after that. Okay, so we made it to Crystal's and the new Chanel boutique is open. So we're definitely gonna go there. Uh, once I'm done picking up my bathing suit, I ordered, a, for, not ordered, but I had them set it aside for me at Fendi. They just had this really nice uh, one piece that I've been eyeing. So I figured now was a good time to pick it up.
So picked up my <laughs> my bathing suit. Now we're headed over to Chanel because I have not seen this new boutique yet. I'm so excited. to resorts and it really is huge but we looked out and parked right in front of where we're eating so <laughs> we're here a little bit too early I am back from dinner. That was incredible. We went to Carver Steak at resorts and it was so delicious, delicioso. I mean, you have to like steak. They did have some seafood options and actually our friend who met us um, had this like amazing herbed organic chicken that looked incredible too. So whew, highly recommend. I had these caviar puffs for appetizer. Wow. Wow, so so good. Anyway, if you can make it, if you can make it to Las Vegas, you have to go to Carver Steak. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to use this Dior La Mousse off on um, and see how it does in removing my makeup. So I'm gonna take off the little safety seal here, and then it says to apply on damp skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wet my face here. Also have to, I have to tie my hair. Otherwise my ponytail falls forward and f like falls into everything. Okay. I'm just gonna squeeze out a bit. It is, yeah, it's almost like a fluffy. Can you guys see? It's almost like a fluffy cream. It has a light fragrance. And before I go over my eyes, I'm just going to wet a face cloth because that's how I like to take off cleansers and stuff. All right, now I'm gonna wipe it away. Okay, I think it did a really good job. 
yeah, it kind of took away all my mascara and eye makeup. That is awesome. Do I have any <laughs> eyebrow gel left? No, that's all gone too. And my skin definitely doesn't feel dry. It feels like there's a little bit of like moisturizer on here. Actually, let me dry it all off, hold on. Yeah, my skin feels really soft. It doesn't feel tight at all, you know? It doesn't feel like it's dried out in any way. Ooh, awesome. Another good one from Dior. Well, I'm gonna close out this vlog here. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the sack, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.